Good evening, I'm Aurora from Phil's on Front Chocolate Bar and Bistro. And today I'm going to try walleye with Marcona almonds and a little lemon and parsley. And Phil is about to show you how to prepare this at home. Today we're gonna do a little walleye special. And before we get to the walleye, I'd like to thank my dear friend Larry Angove, who goes to Canada for me and gets all the walleye and he uh, puts it in the cooler and he sneaks it over the border and there's no terrace on it so it's fresh caught walleye thank you mr ango here is a nice piece of walleye it's got a nice skin on it nice fresh fillet nice and firm and sweet smelling i take a knife and i take long strokes to cut the uh, skin off like that the walleye has a, a line of bones right down here and they're kind of small, so you don't want to have those in your, uh, your, your meal. So you just take a knife and cut down the center of it, like this. And there we go. And you cut that off like that. And then you have this nice walleye filet. And so we're going to do a walleye almondine. It's going to be with uh, walleye, uh, lemons, parsley, and uh, Marcona almonds, which are uh, roasted olive oil salted almonds from Spain. And so I take the, uh, the walleye and I dredge it in flour or rice flour. That is, uh, you know, for gluten-free people, rice flour is great for doing walleye. And I use my little Cajun spice, a little bit of flavor, uh, this mixture of paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper, white pepper, black pepper, oregano and thyme. I just uh, shake the flour off. All it does is protect the meat. So you get a nice crispy crust on it. And a little bit of uh, canola oil. See how it's smoking there? Then we just put the walleye on there, and we get it in the pan. Once it's cooked on one side, we take it and flip it over like that. Now you can see how it's got a little crust on there. Cooked a little bit more. And we add some unsalted butter. Don't use salted butter, unsalted butter. A little bit of that. Then we got your little Marcola almonds, and they fry in the butter too. And a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. This is local organic parsley, by the way. And some lemon. The lemon, what lemon does is just kind of enhances the flavor of the almonds and the walleye. And uh, there we go. And you also can do this with olive oil too. Your almonds are on top there. Put a nice little lemon garnish on there. And we have the walleye almondine. It's very delicious, um, yummy, yummy. Uh, I got walleye in my tummy. 